Hey, welcome back to Lamb Chop Builds. How's everyone uh, doing uh, today? i am uh, been away from the bench for a little bit. I had a whole lot of time uh, down here. But I got a quick little update and a quick mail call video. It's gonna be, we're going to be a quick one here. I ordered, let me find the box. The sponge sandpaper set from Amazon, it's like 11 bucks. Kind of neat little uh, foam back sandpaper. Well, I guess, you know, this is the, this is the uh, 1,000 to 1,200. I guess it starts out as 1,200, and then you use it, and then wash it, and it takes it down to like 1,000. This is like 2,000, 2,500, and then I got a 1,200 to 1,500 set yeah so far i've been doing a little work with it it works pretty good so far where was i was that some side i ordered this it came in today the panel scribing tool i started using the back of a knife blade it wasn't really working the best it comes with a couple extra set of screws in here Little Allen wrench and different sizes of blades, I guess, if you want to call them a blade. Yeah. You see how thin that one is. I don't know if it'll focus. It's on the, the cutting edge. Although it's some pretty thick ones. I don't like the package it's in, you know, but hey, it's a little case. It'll work. I think this one may be even thinner than the first one I showed you. Yeah, this is super thin. Or those the other day they came in today not a bad little set I guess it'll probably do the job what I want it to do a little update on the short track group build also hold on let me I didn't more of the blades there in the bag. Okay. On the Camaro, I'm doing for the group build. I almost have the trunk at the opened. So I do want to open the trunk on this. I'm still having to work in through the back right here to get the deck, you know, to get the lid open. That's what those new tools are going to help with. Rather right than the back of the blade, they might do a little better job there. Now I do have the saw blade. Once I get it opened up enough, I'll saw it out. Started on the uh, the T-top cover here. Got one side done. I thought I'd be able to do one or the other. I just got to figure out how I'm going to fill this little in. I don't know if I'm going to... I was trying to bend it down a little. But I may end up putting a small strip on the underside here. To put down in here. And that'll fill that gap in a little bit and it don't work mirroring it to the other side I don't know proportion I don't know if they there's something different about it I didn't like it so I went to do them separately and then I have the nose for the Camaro been working on it a little bit added in another strip at the bottom side down here and then to get a little more of an angle off the front as you can see that profile I got going here give it more of that look you know this is going to be a, a race diversion you might say the guys working on it in a you know, low budget race car that's what this is probably going to be 
just clean up the putty I used. And I'll start getting this in primer once I get the deck lid area done. Yeah, it's going to turn out all right. So I can just get that to rest. It's like an eye rock almost. Maybe not as pronounced off the off of here, angled out. I think the iRock car is probably more like that angle, lined out more. But I've seen some where they were more of like a dozer, you know, a little flatter. You know, short track short track cars, not the iRock cars. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I've not worked on the street machine group build any. But I'm going to. Be getting this in primer here soon. I can't wait to tell you about the paint job. I've got an idea what I'm going to do. It's going to be cool. I can't wait to show it. I did show the engine for the street machine group build a while back. It's just been chilling out here. And with that, I think this build, this, this video is done. Take advantage of my time I have right now. Do some a little more work on this. This is an old built kit that I took apart. So I can uh, make a race car out of it. I wasn't going to, then I was. And then seeing with uh, some of the other guys are doing. Well, I can, I'll get in this build. And I was planning on doing the 48 hour group build this past weekend. and That didn't happen. So, it is what it is. I've got some cutouts made for the headlights. This is going to take me a minute to get them fashioned and put in there. And you know, get them done in right. i got another one here cut out somewhere. I don't know what I've done with it. It ain't went far. It'll turn up here in a minute. As soon as I get done with the video, it'll scream like, hey, here I was. You didn't get show me. You know, get that putty in nice. I think this will turn out all right. I'm going to do the backs of the little, the, the running lights from the back side. Because on some of them, they were silver. So I'm going to do something like that. You know, rather than and fill them in from the front. I can fill them in from the back and be done with those. With that, we're going to call this one done. Happy modeling. See you next time.